In this video, we will understand how to integrate Google Sheet with TeleCRM directly. So in our latest feature, we have introduced the Google Sheet integration natively in the TeleCRM. To uh, integrate your Google Sheet with the TeleCRM, you just have to go to the integration tab of TeleCRM. Choose the Google Sheet. Here you have seen that there is a configuration tab here. Click on configuration tab and you've got a bunch of steps you have to complete to integrate your Google Sheet. <laughs> To initiate the integration of Google Sheet, you just have to download these files. There are two files here, appscriptcode.js, appscriptmanifest.json.file. file. Stick with me, I'll go through this one by one and tell you how to integrate this thing. Once I download this file, so what I do, I just have to copy this and read this uh, instruction which is given here. Once copied to your Google Sheet, which uh, you will integrate in the extension menu at the top select app script okay so we have to go to our google sheet which we want to integrate here i have opened the google sheet the, uh, by the name of interested clients in the in this google sheet i just go to click on extension click on app script okay once the app script is open i just have to paste the code that i have and that i have copied fr from here right once I done that, I just click on save and then I go to project setting. Once I go to project setting, I oh, enable this show app script or JSON manifest file in editor option. Once I op enable this, I go back to editor. Then I and then I'm able to see app script or JSON. When I click on app script or JSON, this will give me a editor to edit the file. Now go back to the tele CRM and download this second file okay and paste it once you copy it and paste it here that's done just have to save it once you save it go back to your tele crm go back to your google sheet and do a refresh once you do a refresh you will be seeing the tele crm uh, tele crm name in the top bar here just like that this is the telecam name it is uh, given here just click on this click on configure webbook you will see a pop-up of authorization if you do it at first time it will give you authorization pop right there click on continue and authorize it from the same email id you have logged in, in the google sheet this is necessary to read your data otherwise uh, Otherwise, we will not able to integrate the Google Sheet. Once you authorize, click on the TeleCRM again, click on Configure Webbook. When you click on Configure Webbook, you get a pop-up which asks for the key. Now, for the key, go back to the TeleCRM, click on Next here and copy this key and paste it here. And click on Save. Once you save it, this means you have asked Google Sheet to integrate the TeleCRM enterprise right now click on TeleCRM click again click on configure webbook so that you can configure that Google sheet click on once it take time just hold on it will it will automatically populate your data and once it populate the data you just have to send the configuration make sure uh, to open this Google sheet on the same sheet which you want to configure so when I click on save configure it gives me a pop it gives me a information that configure sent successfully please check telecm google integration page to complete the integration so after this I go back to the telecm click on next and it is up and it's searching for google sheet okay now it shows me this po this uh, uh, drop down when I click on it you can see that the sheet and the sheet prepared sheet comes which I send it here if you see the sheet name spreadsheet name is interested client and sheet is sheet one it will shown here I'll select it I click on next I get all the columns that I that is present in tele, that is present in the Google sheet I click on name phone and email and if you want to create a campaign of it you can create it if you want to use the existing campaign you can use the existing campaign if you don't want to create a campaign you can skip this part also and click on next once you do that you have a lead distribution part here i can distribute all the leads to the washney and assign it and click on generate
once you click on generate it will redirect to this point uh, this is where you see that sheet one of interested client has been configured now to enable the data input that whenever a lead sheet is updated the data will automatically come to your tele crm you just go back to google sheet click on tele crm again configure the trigger column click on configure trigger column this is the column from which which you can configure on on so uh, understand this column state that whenever the pop information populate or change in this column the data will be pushed to tele crm directly so i have to go to a select sheet one and i want whenever column b is changing here column b is changing i want to populate data directly to tele crm so i'll just enter b here and save it once i do that the sheet knows that whenever b in whenever b changes push data to tele crm now at every event i just have to enable toggle send on event once i click on toggle send on event it automatically uh, register itself for the b column now let's see in an action if let's see i just add the data here okay this is the data id and i okay data has been sent successfully because the row column b is changed and i'll come back to tele crm and you can see there is a notification of new lead in sheet 1 and you can see the data has been captured here directly okay and this is the one part where you can take the data uh, in the real time from google sheet to tele crm if you have old data which you want to push into tele crm you can also do that because there are different couple of option and i'll go through one by one on that so see this is send all data send custom data toggle send on event and auto send on schedule if you want to send all the data that is present in tele crm that is present in google sheet till yet you can use this option and send all the data of your google sheet to tele crm directly if you want to send custom data you want to don't want to send if let's suppose i have four five four rows but i want to send only the two rows so i can use this custom data option and choose which rows to send right toggle send on event we have already seen toggle send on event in toggle send on event you just have to choose the trigger column in which on which you want to send the data to tele crm and auto send on schedule auto send on schedule what it does it will automatically check after one hour for the differences and post the data to tele crm itself i will recommend go to the toggle send on event so that you can get a real time in uh, real time data to the tele crm whenever a field or when a field get input okay let's you send custom data once i want to send all the old data second third and fourth see second third and fourth are already present in my tele crm so i want to send that so i'll start the range a1 sorry a2 because lavashni is on a2 and i want to send it to the c4 I'll select it C4 and click on send. When I click on send, it will automatically process the data and send it to tele crm. Right? Wait for some time. It will give you a prompt that data has been sent successfully. And when you go back to the, you can see that new leads is coming. Okay. See, the leads are started to come. Okay. Now this is the this is the import this is the information we have to store, and we got it. Right? That's how you can integrate the Google Sheet. to tell you i'm itself we hope this will help you if you have any other feedback uh, write to us at support at the rate telecm.in we will answer you there and we will love to hear this up from your side